What is up everybody? It is Wick here. I'm inside of a Goodwill. I'm looking at this newer cart that came out. I don't know how long it's been sitting there. Maybe it's been picked through, but I'm checking it out. Regardless, there is a Mr. Coffee Tea Maker there. I picked those up from time to time. That one had a little bit of damage on it, some wear. Uh, the pitcher is where the money's at, surprisingly, on those. Uh, sometimes I sell those for 20 bucks, 18, $20 plus shipping if they're in good condition. Condition matters on that stuff. But as you can see, I'm just rushing through here because I noticed there's some newer carts over here that I did not know were here, and I want to check those out first. And there's quite a bit. So looking here, I see this Lilo Stitch little plush head. I don't think was worth anything. Some of that Lilo Stitch stuff is. Uh, that just seemed, I don't even know if that was licensed. It kind of looked like a knockoff or something. Up on that card over there was one of those Wagnerware Magnolite Dutch ovens. I do end up seeing that, picking it up. I've actually already sold that and even got some positive reviews on it. However, the review said that the handle fell off while, while she was wa washing it. So um, yeah, I guess I'm glad, glad I didn't get a return. She said it was understandable because it was old. You know, I washed it and the handle was fine. So I don't know, maybe she was a bit more aggressive but I'm in this Goodwill now. I'm looking at the games. Here's a sealed something, some sort of popsicle stick craft kit. All tore up the box, not really worth picking up. But what we're doing is just looking for things that are valuable, things that I can sell on eBay. Things are gonna move somewhat fast at least, make me some money eventually. And it's good to have knowledge because there's all kinds of things out there that are worth picking up and selling. And when you do this, Every day for 10 years, looking at thrift stores, uh, you tend to learn about those things. So hopefully you can end up scoring. But you know, there's so many things that I miss. There's so many things I learn about every day. There's just millions of products that exist in the world. So if not billions, you think there's billions of products out in the world? I don't know, maybe. So this in cap, I'm checking it out. Got some stuff up here, it's like a little Radio, iLive, I think it is. Usually iLive stuff, not worth picking up. But I head on over to another Goodwill and I see the newest cart. I'm hitting that first, hoping there's something good on it. Unfortunately, I didn't see anything great on this cart. A couple of nice signs there. Not old or vintage, worth selling really for me, but yeah, cool signs nonetheless. You got media, people digging through the cassettes. Just like always, always looking at the vinyl, the cassettes, the CDs, and toys. Check this out. Unbelievable find right here. If you don't know about this, it is a huge bolo. Something you want to be looking out for and make you a lot of money. This football, <laughs> football remote, not so much. Uh, put that back on the shelf if you find it. I threw it in my cart. I went to pay for it and realized it was still in there. I never researched it. Not worth a whole lot, so... I did end up buying that. Maybe I'll make some money on that uh, someday. Probably have to wait about 20 years to make my you know, three to four dollars I'll make on that. <laughs> so yeah, don't buy the wrong things. Uh, happens a lot. I put stuff in my cart. I mean to look it up and I, I find other stuff and I go to pay for it. I'm just like, ah, oh, just buy it. You know, it's already in the car. I didn't, I didn't scan it. So board games, toys, again, it's just the same thing. Are those all Pictionary games or something up there? It all looked like the same game. I find it funny when there's multiple games at Goodwill that are the same and people, they price them different, but there's a basket game, basketball game, vintage. Unfortunately, that was just in way too bad a shape to pick up. Could have been worth like $50 in good complete condition. There was a five disc changer, no remote. Haven't been picking those up as much unless they're like Sony. Uh, they got the remote and everything. I believe they had that priced up. Most electronics are being priced up. And I know that Goodwill, I believe anyway, are sending most of their electronics like that to be sold online. And you have to ask yourself, are they testing those electronics thoroughly? People are just buying them online and you know getting screwed over. Cause I would say half of the electronics I buy at Goodwill do not work. People just donate broken things. So hopefully they fully test them and they're not just taking advantage of people. But, yeah, I don't see much of anything else. There's that Colts kind of wall plaque there. This little thing is for like film or something, a little film table. 
I've seen them before. They're not really worth picking up. They don't seem to move. Shipping on those would be bad. I've seen them listed for around 100 bucks though. Here is a scale. Uh, what brand was this? It's a pr they make pretty good scales, I remember. However, uh, I looked it up. It was, it was, this one wasn't a good one. So uh, looking into the thrift store, up in the toys. Checking out this bag, it kind of looked like a, maybe a Lisa Frank item. Some of that Lisa Frank stuff is big money. If you caught the video where I sold the Lisa Frank binder, uh, what did I sell that for? Like 130, 140 bucks? Just madness. Uh, paid 99 cents for that at Goodwill. So over here, I have a building set. And I'm like, oh, is this new? I determined it's not new eventually. And uh, it looks pretty good in there. And yeah, there was a little bit of money selling this new, but when a box is open like this, you can't sell it as new. There could be missing one piece. You know the buyer's gonna buy it. They're gonna count every piece. They're gonna be mad. They're gonna leave you negative feedback. It's just not worth it. Uh, and you know, to make a little bit of money, have that sit for a while, I don't think it's worth counting all the pieces. Now, if you could make 100 bucks on that, I would happily count 276 pieces or however many were there. There's that little no Fisher Price Noah's Ark and no figures. That's been sitting there for, uh, I feel like years at this point. No one's bought that poor little Ark. Here's a Toy Story Woody. It's a newer one. It's not a talking one. You know, people have mentioned a lot in my comments that I'm missing Toy Story stuff. Uh, the stuff I'm skipping is not the good stuff. And here we are. It is actually the next morning and I'm inside of the first Goodwill I stopped at because they're having a flash sale. Everything in the store is half off. And look at what I'm finding. I found a sealed Power Rangers figure. Uh, half off, Monopoly, some other sealed figures. I got a Stephen King book in there even. But this comes out. This is an Ashtray Hollywood Regency, $4.99. So it's only $2.50 marble base. Kind of madness, right? Uh, these things are worth quite a bit of money. And to get it that cheap at Goodwill, uh, I don't know how I'm going to sell it yet, but definitely profit in that. So I decided to look at the media, the CDs, VHS, cassettes. I see this blob VHS and I'm like, that could be worth something. Maybe some of this weird horror stuff is. I did a quick search on eBay and I saw some of them that were selling pretty good, $30, $40. So I grabbed it. However, when I checked again, it's not the version I have. The, the box is different. So that does matter. Uh, certain original versions and stuff like that. But I'm looking at the cassettes. Been having great luck with cassettes recently. And I find some some rap stuff that's really good but let me show you how much these are worth and everything else good stuff got some cool stuff to show you today a few bolos if you will but let's start back here with this hollywood regency ashtray this is in actually pretty good condition it's dirty it's got a marble base it's got all the prisms on it which is kind of shocking but it was also a very good deal it was 4.99 is all but it was half off because there was a half off sale going on at goodwill so two dollars and fifty cents is all i paid for this i don't know if i'm going to try to sell this on ebay it is very heavy i do not want to ship it i might just try to do a local sale on it on ebay there's some comps for styles like this not even as elaborate selling for about 150 so i think i can definitely make some money on that in the end here's a dutch oven you got the it's a wagner wear and I remember, what was it, a couple months ago now, at a rummage sale, some people left some comments that I missed one of these. That was the one I think I found the Nintendo game, so I definitely wasn't um, thinking about Dutch ovens at that time. But I see this stuff a lot around here because they're made, you know, not very far from me at all. Usually when I find them, they're in absolutely terrible condition or they're at a yard sale or somebody wants like 50 bucks for them. This one was $10 at Goodwill. It has a little bit of wear on it. Some of this is actually grease. It was rubbing off, uh, not even rust stains on there. I'm not going to spend too much time cleaning it up. It's got a few scratches on it. It's got the, the middle rack in there, which matters a lot on the price. In great condition, these can sell for 100 bucks. In my condition, you know, I think I'll make $30 profit on it in the end. Picked up these wireless intercoms at the thrift store. They're not worth a whole lot, but I figure since 
I checked them out and they're very clean. They almost look like they've never been used. In the end, I think I can make $15 on them, so I'll give them a shot. Some people like these vintage things for whatever reason. Then at Goodwill, I picked up the Blob VHS. I did a quick look up on eBay just to see there was any value and I saw some selling for quite a bit. When I looked it up again when I got home for the purpose of this video, I saw that it was actually a different version I was seeing that was selling for like 40 bucks. You know, I think this one was still sell for 10. You know, I paid a dollar for it, maybe 10 plus media mail shipping. I don't know. I own it now though. If you watch my YouTube channel, you know I've talked about these Angry Birds games in the past, how I find certain ones and they sell great on Amazon, complete with the instruction manual and everything. Uh, a few of them I can get up to about 70 bucks for. At Goodwill, I found this one, and this one's a very good one. I've actually never found this one before, and it's selling on eBay even for, you know, $150 pre-owned. It was only $2.99, so this is definitely one of those bolo items. Be on the lookout for it because it's definitely going to be worth some money. It's looking like everything's in there, so as long as all the cards are there, it should be good to make some great profit on. I'll probably sell that one on eBay. The after fees on Amazon, I'm probably not gonna make that much more anyway. So there's, it's on Amazon, there's just no, no one's selling it right now and the rank's high because of that. And then this was half off, so I paid $2 for it. I just picked it up because it was kind of cool. This is actually an Amazon exclusive. You could only buy this on Amazon. So Amazon's still selling it. It's not selling for a lot. There's no money to be made, but eventually Amazon will stop selling this and uh, the price should go up again i didn't really buy it to resell i just thought it was a good deal at two dollars it's in great condition but also the half off goodwill we got some of these action figures uh this power rangers one was dollar fifty being half off uh it looked like it was selling for like 30 35 dollars if i remember right and we got a couple of these star wars figures which uh, i believe it was this one it wasn't too bad it was close to 20 like 15 to 20 dollars it seems like i'll probably lot these two together Again, they were a dollar a piece. Then it's funny because I recently picked up <laughs> uh, one of these Angry Birds, two Angry Birds things I didn't just now realize, but I picked up a little car that was the, the white bird just the other day and I said, it's too bad it wasn't the red one with the glasses because it's a rare one and it sells for about $30 on eBay, 25, 30 bucks. So here it is, I found it and uh, yeah, I'm gonna Probably price this about 25 bucks, I would imagine. Make some money. There's also these Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Uh, how much were these? They weren't much. $2.99, so they were $1.50. And there's a couple rare ones in there, not high-end rares. You know, if I was to sell these, I'd probably make $7 to $10. I'm just going to throw them with the rest of my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. There's definitely profit there. Uh, just not going to take the time to sell them. Then I found some rap and hip-hop cassettes and a couple others I just kind of bought like the print stuff. But there's a lot of this rap stuff that can be worth decent money. But I'm going to have to do a bit more research on the Tupac one because there's some listed for like $150. It seems like I saw one sell for 50 or 100. I was surprised because I didn't expect that one to be, you know, very valuable. Just maybe it wasn't too many of them made on cassette. Uh, this Terra de Club Up Thugs, though, was um, selling for about 30 to $40. So that's a good pickup. All these were a dollar. Here's another one. Unfortunately, doesn't have the insert. I thought it was bone, like bone thugs and harmony, but it's just bone, bone hard, I guess. Never heard of them. It seems like that was even selling just loose. I could get 20 bucks for. I don't think the TLC or the, the print stuff is very good. The ice cube, um, yeah, it wasn't a good one. But, you know, when I get enough of them, I lot this stuff together and I do make profit only paying a dollar a piece. So certain cassettes like that, I'm always looking out for. And the ones I am going to be selling by themselves, it's going to be good profit. So I picked up this vintage Fisher Price Dune Buggy from, uh, I believe, 70s. It was only a dollar. There'll be some decent profit in it. I should make at least $10. If it had the flag that goes on the back, it can sell for like 40 bucks. That flag is very important to the value, just like many other accessories on this type of stuff, because that's what gets lost. Still, uh, I'll probably price this 20 bucks, and I think it'll sell. Of course, with the half off Goodwill deal going on, I got this book half off, so $3, half of that, $1.50. As always, I collect a bunch of Stephen King books, and then I lock them up. I grabbed this <laughs> Radio Shack sealed football remote. I'm like, that's kind of cool. It was $3.99. I just threw it in the cart and I was going to look it up and it's one of those things I'm just, I go to pay and I'm like, oh, I didn't ever check this. It's probably not worth that much. I'm just going to buy it. Yeah, you know what? In the end, I might make $5 on it. 
I might have put it back if I looked it up before I actually purchased it. So I got some clothing. I got this Vans off the wall long sleeve shirt just for me because I can use it. And then I got a stack of Marmot stuff that just came out at Goodwill and uh, it's all in great amazing condition. It's all XL. So when you see something like that, it's a good idea to buy it all because you could lot it all together to, and one person would buy it because it's their size. You can make money that way. All of these were what, like $4.79 or whatever this, the stuff is at Goodwill. This is a nice jacket right here. I could probably sell this by itself for 30 bucks. And some of this stuff I might end up keeping <laughs> for myself even. Uh, it's my size. I'm just going to try it on and see what's here. But here's a nice quarter zip. And, uh, you know, some of this stuff by itself, eh, not really going to sell. You could probably still make $10 on each of these pieces. I'm um, doing a lot. You're probably going to make about $10 also because you're saving on shipping. Uh, even though I do calculated shipping, when the customer saves shipping, that means they're willing to pay more on the price. So in return, you know, that helps you make money. Got kind of this zip up here. You got this light, very light rain jacket. I think some of these can actually sell for around 30 bucks by themselves and another quarter zip. So I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to sell this stuff yet, but I can tell you there's going to be profit in it since I only got about what? 25 bucks and all that. How many pieces? Three, four, five pieces. About $25 into all of it. I'd pretty much get my money back just selling, you know, this piece right here. But there it is, everybody. That is the haul for today. I really want to thank you for watching. I'm going to ask you before you leave, if you could hit the like button, leave me a comment. Let me know what you're finding out there. What has been your best find this year so far? I love hearing what other people are finding out there. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Until next time.